All right, we are headed up to Michigan today for a card show in Lansing. I've made a few videos before at this show. It's always a pretty good one. This was right at the beginning. There was a little more traffic throughout the day, but we've managed to find some pretty good stuff. It's always a good selection of Chicago players, kind of Detroit players, guys like Kaline. What you're watching is actually a sports card shop at the show. I bought this awesome 1959 Tops mantle from the guy who puts on the show. It's actually the same guy who owns the card shop. If you're near the Michigan area, it's definitely worth checking out if you got some time. Uh, there's a whole bunch of good dealers at the show, but I managed to get a pretty good snag here from someone that was walking around the show. He took him up to a dealer when I was right next to him, and the dealer bought about half the stuff, but I managed to get the rest of it from him. Stuff that the dealer just didn't really want. On top of that, he already tried to sell them to the guy who runs the show, and he didn't want them either, so I didn't feel bad about that at all. Got a bunch of cool Pete Rose slabs and stuff like that. This dealer had a bunch of BVG slabbed T206 commons, as well as this 53 Monty Irvin. Lots of people ask me kind of the cards that I look for, the deals that I look for, and this is exactly what you want. I'll explain to you guys why. Now the secret to all of it is just percentages. If someone has a car priced at $50, you may be able to get them to come down to even $25 or $30, which is a far bigger discount than you'll be able to get on bigger cards. You're never gonna get a dealer to come down from $500 down to $250 or $300, but all the time you'll be able to find deals where dealers will come down from $50 to $25 or $30 or $35, and you get a much bigger percentage discount on your money. You may be able to make double your money or maybe even more on some of these smaller types of cards, but when it comes to like a $500 card, you're never gonna be able to turn a $500 card into $1,000 just because people won't give you that much of a break on it. So when you're starting off small, it's going to be much easier to grow your money percentage wise with these smaller types of cards. Now, smaller cards can be a lot of fun, but so can bigger cards. The biggest card of the day was this Johnny Bench PSA 7 rookie card. This one's a beauty. Also came with this Clemente second year. This one's in a five. For a second year Clemente, this is basically what I would consider the beginning of high grade or upper mid grade with a few more slabs. Got this Pete Rose 67 in a six. 56 Mays, 2-5. He's miscut, but it looks pretty good. And a 59 Clemente, one of my favorite sets from the 50s. Now here's a little bit of a better view of inside the card shop. There's a whole bunch of wax boxes everywhere. There's some autographed baseballs, autographed posters, pictures. You got sports cards, everything you could want in there. It's a pretty cool place and a nice little environment. And it's nice that he sets up this monthly show here for everyone also. You guys may recognize some of this stuff from some of my previous videos. I've done a couple shows here, but I haven't really showcased this card shop too much. So I kind of wanted to do a little bit of that in this video. Now also, I did get this card in the mail on Saturday. So I figured I'd include that in there. It's this 53 Bowman Musual in this pretty crappy slab. So I had to set him free. I wanted to release him. And now he's going to be getting a new home at PSA. I actually had stuff from both pwcc and ebay it's my house when i was at the show so why not let's go ahead and check those out too first off had this 51 bowman doby not in bad shape at all had a heine manush this one was pwcc psa2 this one is tough this one i'm am considering keeping so let me know if i should keep this it's a 3MK Johnny Evers. He's really tough to find, especially this portrait variation. And this one is a 3MK with the mark on the back. But I mean, the colors are just insane. It's so sharp. So let me know if I should keep this because it's really tempting. Oh, and then this Bresnan was the final card from PWCC. Right now, the company vault consists of one card. That's this Mickey Mantle from one of my previous videos. And if you watched my last video, you noticed I sold my Burke Ross Maze. So I'm looking for something to replace it. Obviously, this Evers isn't as much as the Maze is, but this would be a beautiful card to set back in the company PC. 